Now it's rolling. All right, cool. Hello, and welcome to Campfire 101. Today we're going to do a particular delicacy, which not many people have heard of before, or at least have tried. We're going to take the standard oversized marshmallow and fill it with this chocolate bar and roast it over the fire. Step one, dig a crevasse within the marshmallow. This leftover bit you can eat or offer to the fire gods. <laughs> Once you have a nice hole in there, which, which you may put the chocolate, proceed to open up the chocolate and put it in the marshmallow. My legs are really, really hot right now. Isn't it ironic that he's, isn't it ironic he's wearing a Hershey shirt? Oh, yeah. <laughs> product, product placement. That's what it is. We should, like, get royalties for having this. All right. Then you fold two squares in half and stuff it down inside the marshmallow. Now with this, you have a sort of cup, so you need to make sure you don't ever tip it upside down. Dad, why is that really burning hot? Stop that. <laughs> Carefully make sure you are able to lodge the marshmallow on your double-pronged stick without giving it cause to fall off. Move over to a part where it is not flaming. <laughs> And carefully roast it. Oh, hi there. Rotating it periodically back and forth. And you can keep rolling this, and we'll do one of those really fast things where it's like back and forth. Time elapse. Yeah, time elapse is good. This is a video of a 110 pound woman. Sorry, we missed that on video. The the young lady tipping in the back of her chair. But we'll continue back to our more important video, the lava. My eyes are drying out. I need to get it into a hotter zone. <clears throat> As you can see, the chocolate is mo most definitely melting. Turn it this, oh, keep it that way. Yeah. We need to see the chocolate. We don't believe there's chocolate in there. Well, I can't let it burn, so if it does burn, I'll have to take it out. Yeah, it's actually melting, yeah. Um, yeah. Not a caterpillar, but some other sort of organism. Maybe a germ. Is it melted? Ooh, nice cook on the bottom. Yeah. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, then come back, you back home for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Dang it. It's on fire. It's still on fire. You're fine. You're done. All right. It's now, place the chocolate marshmallow down and carefully scrape the marshmallow and remove the stick. The stick you may then cleanse in the fire until all the excess is burnt off, after which you may rest it on whichever device you so please. It places the chocolate in the marshmallow. Signs of the lambs. The final step is one of the more complicated steps, in which case... You have to make sure that when you do place it down, the chocolate in the top does not ooze out and the marshmallow does not accidentally split at the sides. If the marshmallow splits at the sides, the chocolate will ooze out the sides and you will lose a lot of it. You will have a large amount of excess, so you can either cut it off and give it to the volcano gods, or you may eat it. No, 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 no. <laughs> 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 I think they deserve a yum or something.
<laughs> me, Uncle Steve. Mm mm, good. <laughs> no, he doesn't say mm mm, good. He says mm mm mm. Mm mm. That's what Uncle Steve says. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't need this on the Boston Globe. Thank you very much. <laughs> you said you wanted one. Oh. Thank you. No. No, she's doing another flaming torch. <laughs>